Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The United States is in a deep freeze with almost the entire country running well below normal temperatures. Here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, our forecast low temperature of minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow would break the previous low temperature record by 6 degrees. And the temperature would be 27 degrees below normal. Humans can't survive that sort of weather very long without an adequate supply of fuel to keep their house warm. But the Washington Post just reported that the United States is burning up. Climate change threatening things Americans value most, the U.S. report says. Climate change is unleashing far-reaching and worsening calamities in every region of the United States, and the economic and human toll will only increase unless humans move faster to slow the planet's warming, according to a sprawling new federal report released Monday. Over the past 50 years, the U.S. has warmed 68% faster than the planet as a whole, the report finds. Since 1970, the authors state the continental United States has experienced 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit of warming, well above the average for the planet. Fifty years ago, droughts, floods, blizzards, tornadoes, typhoons, and hurricanes were blamed on global cooling, but now the Biden administration blames them on global warming. The reality is that we've always had bad droughts, floods, blizzards, tornadoes, typhoons, and hurricanes. They happen almost every year. Now let's look at the Biden administration claim that the U.S. has been heating out of control over the last 50 years. This is NASA's temperature graph for the United States. You can see the claimed warming here. In 1999, NASA showed that the United States cooled sharply from the 1930s through the end of the 20th century. But they've since altered their data to turn this cooling trend into a warming trend during the same time period. Cooling didn't suit their agenda, so they altered the data. So let's take a closer look at this data tampering from government agencies like NASA and NOAA. The red line shows the thermometer data for the United States from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's United States Historical Climatology Network. But their purple line shows the graphs which they released to the public, which contains altered data, not the actual thermometer data. The thermometer data shows that the United States has cooled over the last century, but the graphs which they released to the public show a sharp warming trend. Note that there's no warning or disclaimer on the NASA graph saying that the data has been altered. People who look at it assume that they're looking at actual thermometer data when they're not. This graph shows the magnitude of the data tampering which is being done by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. More than one degree Fahrenheit has been knocked off of temperatures from 80 years ago, and recent temperatures are artificially inflated by about one degree. All of the claimed U.S. warming is due to this hockey stick of data tampering by government agencies. This graph shows the data tampering with carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere plotted along the x-axis. You can see that the data is being altered to match their global warming theory, which is the exact opposite of how real science is done. The Washington Post says that every part of the U.S. is grappling with climate change, from stifling heat waves in the Midwest to deadly floods in the Southeast, from warming oceans along the Northeast coast to raging wildfires in the West. People across the country are facing increasing risk from climate change, the assessment finds. Now let's look at the actual data to see if any of these claims are accurate. NOAA's state climate summaries show that hot temperatures in the United States were much more prevalent in the 1930s than they have been in recent years. Particularly in the Midwest, where hot temperatures have declined very sharply over the last 90 years. The frequency of 95 degree days in Illinois is down more than 90%. In Michigan, the frequency of 90 degree days is down more than 50% since the 1930s. In Nebraska, the frequency of 100 degree days is down 90% since the 1930s. The previous national climate assessment from four years ago showed that heat waves in the United States were much worse prior to 1960 than they have been over the last 60 years. And it also showed that the hottest temperatures in the Midwest are much cooler than they were prior to 1960. The percent of days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit in the upper Midwest is down about 90% since the 1930s. 
and the percent of upper Midwest stations which reached 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius sometime during the summer has declined by about 50% since the 1930s. The Midwest is much cooler now than it used to be. The Biden administration claims about heat are completely fraudulent, and so are their claims about forest fires. Burn acreage in the United States is down 80% over the last 90 years. Nothing which the Biden administration or the Washington Post are claiming is true. So we might ask, what motivates this sort of fraud? From the academic's point of view, one obvious answer is money. Jeff Bezos is giving away tens of billions of dollars to fight climate change. That money is not going to go to people like me. It's going to go to people who are promoting the idea of a climate crisis. Jeff Bezos wants to feel like he's saving the planet. If there is no climate crisis, then he's just throwing his money down the drain. If he gives half his money away, I think he'll still be pretty comfortable living on $60 billion. He won't have any difficulty heating his home. Unlike the hundreds of millions of people who will be struggling to pay their bills due to very bad energy policy driven by climate disinformation. The sort of disinformation which Jeff Bezos is encouraging by funding climate alarmism. It's a classic mafioso-style protection scheme. Nice little climate you've got there. We wouldn't want anything bad to happen to it. Toto has been playing back the curtain on this climate racketeering for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Tokinupla on the web at realclimatescience.com.